Hello, this is Angela with Parkos Permaculture. Yes, I'm a little bit sunburnt. I did some yard work this afternoon. Um, I was out visiting my dad earlier and I've been helping with neighborhood coalition things and it's just been a super, super busy day. Um, I've been up since about 5 a.m. because I think that's, that's kind of how things are going now. I get up really early whether I want to or not. So it's like 3.30 in the afternoon. I just finished visiting my dad and I'm checking my phone as I'm getting ready to leave um, his care facility. And I just swing over to Facebook Marketplace really quickly and I search rain barrels because I'm always looking uh, for rain barrels or any kind of rainwater catchment system. And a gentleman had just posted this set. It is a four barrel system for sale um, for 200 bucks. And that's a lot of money to us. 200 bucks is not nothing. But considering the blue barrels in our part of the world go for anywhere between 30 and $50 each. And this included a metal rack. And it also includes all of the hardware, piping, nozzles um, with it as well. I messaged him and I was like, dude, let me go see if this will fit in my minivan. And if it does, like we're on the way. So we drove out to Westlin, which is a very swanky part of town. Um, I have lots of feelings about what a gentrified community it is and how the people who can afford to live there um, have a very privileged kind of lifestyle, but a uh, very nice gentleman. He said he'd bought the house from a prepper and he didn't, he wasn't into that kind of stuff. He bought it for the big yard. They have a half an acre and he had a zip line for his kids. They live a very kind of suburban life. It's very upper middle class, upper class suburban life. And you know, he didn't want this rain barrel system. And so he was going to sell it to me for cheap. I looked up the price of everything and it probably would have been about $800 worth of equipment new. So a great deal for me and a good deal for him because I took it off his hands. So we're going to put this over where I took out an elderberry. This is the beginning of our rainwater catchment. 455 gallon drums is not going to be adequate for all of our needs, I think, but it is a start. In permaculture, we say slow, small solutions, right? Slow and small. And it means that you don't have to radically redo everything at once. You do it as you have the time and the resources. And for us, used and within our budget is the way that we do things. And so that often means we do it slow and small. Thanks, Hal. The teenagers are helping. So heavy. Uh, it's, it's a little heavy. You got it, dude. Do you want me to get the gate for you? Oh, so strong. No. I wish this had, it's, hard problem, it doesn't have handles. It doesn't, it's not that it's heavy, it's that it's difficult to like get a grip on any of it. There we go. Yeah, okay, you got it, mister. So we had to take one of the racks apart to get it in the car, but here's the one that would fit put together. You stack two rain barrels on top of each other. And just the racks alone were like $400. So the fact that we got this used, the entire setup, including all of the hardware on it. Thank you, thank you for 200 Titan Ready Water still makes these racks. And while I realize this situation was advantageous to us, I am always shocked at how much money people will spend on the prepper industry. It is such a money sink. Um, I want to be really clear. These are $400 a rack and it does not include the barrels or any of the hoses. So I initially said about $800 worth of product. It's really more closer to $1,000. So obviously these are not going to go here. Can't resist the opportunity to show off my Akibia. Akibia trifoliata. Akibia quinata is behind me. Okay, so air conditioner. This is where I've been working on the woodland garden and some mulch that needs to be spread, moving things around. This is where we took out an elderberry specifically so we could put the rain barrel system right here. So that's where it's going to go. right here, downspout here. Unfortunately, this is not leveled and ready yet. So we're gonna have to remove some of the soil. I'm going to have to put a sand foundation and then we have some large concrete pavers that we'll put here to provide a really good sturdy platform because 220 gallons of water is very heavy. What is that, eight, eight um, 
pounds per gallon times uh, 220. So. so hopefully this area is really dry shade in the summer. We're gonna also turn this into a little pond. Ruth wants to turn that into a little still pond because we do have frogs in the garden and it's been so hot and dry, we wanna create a good pond location for them. Um, so this area is pretty dry shade and so we'll be able to not only have water here, but also this part of the garden is uphill from all the rest of the garden. And that means that we can successfully with gravity be able to water downhill from this location. So thank you for watching today. I will be back soon with more from my permaculture garden. I got a little sunburnt doing some yard work earlier today and I will have that uh, upcoming very, very soon updates to my front yard garden. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.